Mr. President, the North Koreans uh, said yesterday that your statement on Tuesday was nonsense. That's the word that they used. Do you have any response to that? Well, I don't think they mean that. And I think they, uh, it's the first time they've heard it like they heard it. Uh, and frankly, uh, the people that were questioning that statement, was it too tough? Maybe it wasn't tough enough. They've been doing this to our country for a long time, for many years. And it's about time that somebody stuck up for the people of this country and for the people of other countries. So, uh, if anything, maybe that statement wasn't tough enough. And we're backed by 100 percent by our military. We're backed by everybody. And we're backed by many other leaders. And I noticed that many senators and others today came out very much in favor of what I said. But if anything, that statement may not be tough enough. What would be tougher than fire and fury? Well, you'll see. You'll see. Mr. President, is one of the options being considered a preemptive strike or first strike on the floor? We don't talk about that. I never do. I'm not like the other administration that would say we're going into Mosul in four months. I don't talk about it. We'll see what happens. But I can tell you that what they've been doing and what they've been getting away with is a tragedy, and it can't be allowed. Sure. We'll always consider negotiations, but they've been negotiating now for 25 years. Look at Clinton. He folded on the negotiations. He was weak and ineffective. You look what happened with Bush. You look what happened with Obama. Obama, he didn't even want to talk about it. But I talk. It's about time. Somebody has to do it. Somebody has to do it.